Look at that. We make the strings louder. Come back tomorrow and do what? You have no camera. Hey, no, it's no, this thing, it's, it's going to be all right. 149. No, what's really going on? Hey, Dave, what is this thing right here? Plow some nuts. It's, it's a transmission. What do you do? How long has it been sitting on this desk? Like a month. I, it's probably been about a month. too damn long. Yeah. I need to start charging you rent again. But uh, that's not what we're talking about today. So it's finally like 1 in the morning, and I decided to maybe do something. So the one of the biggest issues so far on the Supra has been this little A pillar right here is the whole cut out behind it. So I'm going to show you. So you can see right here some somebody decided to cut all this stuff out in preparation for a for a cage. I I don't I don't know the the mentality that was going into that, but uh, basically they ruined it. Um so if you see right here, these are some, some templates I was going to do, like some dimple dies and stuff in my cage on the S14, and then I kind of decided to, to not. So I had these already kind of pre-made, but I'm just over here kind of mocking them up. So there's two layers that is supposed to be in here, and like two layers of metal, like this other side. There's like a little inner guy and then an outer guy, and they kind of fold on each other. So the plan is, is to, do, to do one on the inside like that, kind of weld it down there, and then weld it like right here and then cover the, the outside of it basically like this but with with a, an actual better piece so it'll actually be done like that and then I don't know I I think you you can actually order this piece from Toyota but they might not have it in stock and it, it'll but it only goes to like right here so then I would still have to figure out this situation so this is going to be like the absolute worst like this is the worst part about the whole Supra project is this that it actually has it in there but I mean once everything's covered up it should just be fine and it's not like it's not like it's a target top where uh, I mean you basically lose all this strength anyhow so it'll it'll still be a hell of a lot stronger than a, a damn targa but, uh, but yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna probably get started on that also up here in the front I was going to start on the engine bay a little bit and I was just kind of putting a, a flat piece of metal behind it right here end up just welding that in uh, probably cut this out a little bit more ticky tacky some of that stuff weld some of that stuff a little bit better and then uh, then start messing with the engine bay because I need to get that done before we get too much further on the body but yeah you can see I could even do a, a big dog in there like that if I wanted and I could dimple that is uh is maybe maybe should should I dimple dye this? Dave, come come look at this. Look how premium that looks. Well what about the I, trim? Yeah the trim I'd have to do it like to like right there or something, make it smaller. What but, happened to all those pieces that you had before? Well they're over here on the ground. Oh shit we're not oh, supposed to show oh, them the Oh what is that? What is that? It's, you're not supposed to show is them it? the super parts yet. Oh that ain't my shit. That's uh <laughs> <laughs> that ain't my shit. Um, what? Hey, what is that? So that's that's Jesse's one Jay Z. His his his, his China, his China oh, homie. Dude, it's full race. Look. No, it's China Bay. China <laughs> China race, dude. Ch China Bay. <laughs> so this is Jesse's one J VBTI uh, T3 T4 exhaust thing. Cause here in the next probably what week or so we're gonna be doing Support. we're gonna be doing some big stuff to Jesse's car. Are you excited about it? Are you going to drift then? Jesse drifts? Yeah, hopefully. Oh, okay. Um, what else? So yeah, he was mocking that up on here like last week. Uh, if you come, come over here, here's some of the bits that uh, that came out of the Supra. Is, is all that kind of chunks of stuff. But I don't really think there's any pieces that I could actually use. Um, what, else, what else is going on over here? Oh, I got the Supra seats. And the dash just getting overspray on it. And the hatch, which I, I'm still waiting to decide what to do with the hatch because a glass is like 750 bucks, but I could pretty much get a hatch for that, but I'd have to pay shipping. Um, but then it would have a turbo wing and all that stuff on it too. So I, don't, I haven't decided yet. And then I'm probably going to end up painting the hood the same color as I paint the car, so I need to do some work on that. 
So when I was uh, when I was backing this thing up the other night, that damn fence post sticking out the back, it just like stabbed the door and, and like went, it like muffled everything and it got all quiet and I was just like, I thought I like actually punched a hole through the door. But uh, then, yeah, if, then you wouldn't uh, have the, the issue, you could just put like a roll of receptacle on there and you could catch the exhaust. Yeah, I could just vent, like it could just let cars run in here all day. Um, so I'm digging shit out right here because Behind this wall of shit, there's actually a, a sheet of metal. David, do you remember that metal? Yeah, my metal. Your metal? Yeah. Hey, where's my, my, my TIG? Where's my TIG bottle? My, uh, what was that? Was that, was that 100%? Argon. 100% argon. It doesn't even have any CO2 in it. And that's dope, right? Yeah, give me, give me one of them. I think you owed me one. I think you owed me one. Um, Hey, help me pull this metal out. What Probably. What happened to the other piece that we almost lost? What other piece that we almost lost? From the half? Oh, I've already... Used that was, yeah, it was on here and I cut it. Bar. I'm pretty sure. Box, box. Box. I get it. Those are homies. Oh, shit. You got it or what? That? That's that brake line. Oh, yeah. it's, it's really fun. That looks, you can make a hood out of that, dude. Uh, the SEMA build. Uh, SEMA 2K17. No, I think. What else? No, that doesn't. I could maybe, I could cut templates with this. With the, cause I could just use the snips. That and some cardboard is oh, wow. kind of the, the plan. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a piece of cardboard or you know something along those lines, and I'm basically gonna come over here and just kind of cut it with some scissors. And I was probably not gonna do this all in one piece. I was gonna do it in multiple pieces, and then we were gonna take a bead roller for the in, inside of it and run a bead down the center because when you bend the metal like that it adds a lot of strength basically just like a dimple die. We are currently inside the Supra. These uh, little Felpro, you know, if you like order like a head gasket or something, these things are pretty nice for uh, for kind of kind of messing with with mocking stuff up. So that that edge looks pretty straight so far right there. And kind of so does this. So maybe, maybe I, I need to get me a tape measure. Uh, so get me a tape measure. So I'm basically going to start. I'm going to try to get that the first kind of layer. I don't know. I'm going to kind of work on the outside layer is what I think I'm going to do. Maybe the inside. I don't know. I kind of want to cut some more of this stuff out or bend it or something. So I could actually kind of weld on and hook onto that shit right there. Because that stuff kind of sucks. You can tell there's like two layers right here. Um, but yeah, I, uh, this one right here is going to be interesting because it'll have to be kind of, kind of rounded. But, uh, but yeah, I could probably just follow the line of that and then just transfer it up there is what I could do. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start down here and what I'm kind of seeing for the outside that should be pretty decent right there. We go up here. It feels like it needs to be a little bit longer. That piece on the inside, I think I might just end up doing that because that, and then add another layer, basically right on top of it. So that'll be in there like that, and then right here, that'll be essentially on the top so you'll kind of it'll be kind of like triangulated in there I'll weld up to there I'll probably end up having to strip off the the primer off of the front of this and maybe pull off all the filler and stuff that we have on that just so that it's not like contaminating it by welding the shit but uh, yeah, I kind of like the way that looks I mean and, th and this isn't this isn't gonna be like an OEM like replacement like type of thing and even if I decided to get the OEM top piece like this inside, I would have to pull out like this whole section and uh, I don't know. So I think this is going to be my solution for now, which isn't, I'm not necessarily the, the happiest about, but I, I think I might try to end up ordering 
this outside one, but nonetheless, I'll still be able to have this, have that in there. That'll be on the inside. This will be on the outside. And then I could still weld that OEM piece on the outside right there. And I think it'll be just fine. So that's kind of kind of mentality going into that and then up here you can't I don't think you could even order this down piece anymore so I'm gonna have to do some cobbling up there but even if I want to hook up you know there's there's a couple things for like panels like there's a, a 10 millimeter thing right there I could build like a little shitty bracket to like extend that out if I needed to so right now I'm just cross-checking kind of my measurements so three and a quarter inches right there about three and a quarter and then I'll have to kind of flow it flow it down to like back it down to about Pretty nice. So we are basically going to measure from that point to that point to that point and then kind of make a, a radius with it as this plane needs to basically stay completely straight, that whole thing. And I'm building the top piece because I pretty much already figured out that this uh, inch and a half piece is going to work about how I want it to on the inside. So that, that won't really matter because I already know that. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer my points onto here roughly right in there and then from that one on that's about right around three and we'll just go from right there that's right at six inches so we'll basically come right here to six inches Needs to be two and a half, and then this right here, that needs to be one and three quarter. And so basically, this kind of needs to go I end up cutting it just a little big. I'm like I'll probably have to shave a little bit off of that down there. See, then I could always take a little bit off of that. See, they gotta keep in mind the weather stripping is gonna kind of fit in here too, so. So I need to yeah. said and done. But yeah, this will pretty much be the, the outer layer piece. It's looking pretty decent. All right, so I'm uh, getting ready to cut this little thing. You can see I got my safety glasses and my little thing over here. My knee pad, I was just gonna kinda Make sure that this stuff will actually draw on there. Damn you. Might have another marker that, that works, we'll see. What I'm gonna end up wanting it, so I'll probably just cut like right on that damn line. So yeah, there we have. There we have our little cut that we're gonna do. Straighten up that edge over there. I'm gonna see. I have to grind this little lip. You guys can see that right there. That's kind of like it's kind of flush up here. So 
I'll kind of show you guys uh, what I was just doing there in that little time lapse. Um, you can see right here, kind of follows that line. I might need to trim it up just a little bit right there, but for the most part, that sits pretty pretty flush. I'll, I'll probably trim that a little bit more, or maybe try to push it up right here. I put this kind of bend in it right there, and that's kind of pushing that out a little bit, so I need to kind of pull that back in. Um, for the most part, I'm, I'm liking how that's fitting, you know, because I'll, I'll be able to weld basically kind of right there and then kind of grind it off, but it'll be welded down in that little bevel, so it'll be nice and smooth here when I put like the weather stripping and stuff on. Uh, on this front side, I don't think it'll really matter, but uh, but I'll go ahead and weld kind of that seam that whole way, whole way up. And like I said, this the heat is probably going to get to it, um, so we'll probably end up having to strip off this this pillar right here with all the stuff or we'll see kind of what happens but I'm gonna have to weld that up because that's where somebody cut through same thing through here so yeah it's definitely gonna have to I'll definitely have to clean up all this stuff and uh, you know be grinding and cutting and all that stuff so it uh, should turn out pretty decent uh, like I said this is just kind of the, the outer skin of the that, that it's gonna be so I'm not sure whether we're just gonna run basically a uh, a line down the center of it with uh, with the bead roller and that's basically what you do to like kind of floor pans it when you put that crinkle in it it just gets really really strong so I did a little uh, a little trace right here sorry if that light over there is bugging you guys but I basically put the this thing right here and uh, and I matched kind of that angle that it that slope that it's at and so what I am going to do is just cut that out and that should be like this angle right there should be pretty much that is uh, is kind of the plan. So you can see that gets us, let's see where the hell, I think that was about right. So that little hump right there is basically where that line is. You can see it follows that line really, really well right there on the bottom. Um, so I might use that one for that. And it, it gets it damn close right there on the top too. So basically I just need to take that pattern right there and uh, and trace that out. I just need to, to figure out the distance right there and much the, the idea behind it. So that's about two inches, getting close to two inches, which I could kind of put that on the inside of that too. Plus one inch on the front. So if we do plus one inch on the front, so that'll extend us an inch that way. And then I think on the rear, I don't know, about six inches or so. Go over here, kind of make a template. Figure out the best way of doing this. Okay, well, I think we're uh, ready to cut. But, uh, so yeah, this is kind of the first trial test fit. I took the, kind of this bottom piece off. Let's see. So you can see the general shape is is pretty close. Um, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could just smash it on and just like, like that, you know, like grind that out a little bit more. Um, I mean, it's it's damn close. If you if you look at that, like that shape to that shape, I mean, it's 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 right there. It's probably about two and a half. I don't know, versus two and a quarter. So I need to shave a bit off of it, a quarter of an inch off of that right there. That would. That would almost make her fit pretty damn good, as long as it slid up on the top, but see, I definitely need to kind of cut a smaller piece. I'm pretty happy. So basically what I ended up doing is, uh, as you can see on the time lapse, I just added another, I cut out another, I already had the, 
the you know that is kind of the template so I used the top of it to just cut out another sliver of it and did about a two I don't know it's closer to two and a quarter whereas that other one was two and a half and that one was just a little too big so came over here in kind of its first test fit it looks like it's fitting damn good you can see like right there on the back I gotta cut off that little tail a little bit but that's like lining up perfectly flush in there and then basically I'll pull this back towards me a little bit and then uh, end up welding that or so that'll, that'll be really nice. I actually like that. I mean, that's kind of looks like it's coming together a little bit. And I'll maybe put a little patch in there or something or maybe see if I could get this to scoot down a little bit further. And uh, yeah, I think I will. I think I can get it to scoot down to about right there. Basically, if I shave off that, you know, basically take off most of that white right there, should be pretty damn good. And then, like I said, I'll have to take off that, that shit and maybe, but for the most part it looks like this stuff is gonna I'll be able, like I said when I pull that out I should be able to weld it right to this edge that nice little thing so it'll have that extra support right there I think if I get some decent uh, we'll, we'll see kind of how strong it makes it with that uh, that other stuff and then I'll just do a little patch kind of right there as well and I might kind of end up bending it kind of down in there or doing something but um, yeah that's that's looking damn good right there well, I just uh, test fitted, grinded a bunch of stuff, and uh, look at that. So look at that seam right there. That's that's damn close. Just a little bit more on the top right there. I mean that that thing fits damn good. I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty happy with it because, like I said, it'll fit pretty flush right there. And then if I need to, I could grind down the welds. But I'm gonna work on trying to kind of get that tip right there to come out here a little bit, so it's actually pulled back, so it actually welds to this. Um, and then it might not be too bad of a deal if I actually weld it to that because that's actually a piece of that second layer up there and uh, and then but I, I really want to make sure I get it up into here get it pulled back enough so that it, it actually welds right on this end on that edge right there because there's a lot of a lot of strength in that right there because them two pieces kind of squeeze together but uh, and then another thing I might do is kind of do like a little another little guy that goes right here um, to kind of connect that to the top you know maybe just a little patch right there or something so yeah I think uh, I think that's pretty much where I'm gonna leave it for tonight I'm kind of debating whether I want to MIG weld this stuff or if I want to TIG weld this stuff uh, shortly I'll be able to TIG weld so I'm pretty excited about that I, uh, I ordered a Everlast uh, 200 DV which is a, uh, a pretty pretty decent deal. It I guess it's it's fairly comparable to. I mean, it's about as close as you're going to get to like a Lincoln or a, a Miller without actually paying the the price. But it has a lot of settings, a lot of pulse stuff. It has you could stick weld with it as well, which I'm probably not going to do that. Um, you know, and, and I have the the MIG welder over there too that uh, that I use all the time. But uh, see, so yeah, I'm trying to trying to decide whether I'm going to MIG weld it or TIG weld it. Um, I'll probably at least get it tacked in there with the MIG. And then uh, maybe I'll take it. I don't know. Uh, depends on on how how long it takes all that stuff to come in. But I, I'll probably actually will end up MIG welding it because because uh, I don't want to wait, and I don't want you guys to wait either. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna clean up my damn mess, and, uh, and I'm gonna go home for the night. It's where Brandon's right now. Uh, he's got the little bead bead rolling machine. They have this little one on there that has a little step on it, but we're putting a different die on it. So basically it'll be, this is a floor pan that they made, and uh, you can see that it has that, that bead, and that's the exact, uh, exact one that we're going to put in there. And basically when you crease the metal like that, it just gives it a lot of strength, kind of gives it like a ridge, and I don't know, just makes it a lot stronger. So that's, uh, that's exactly what we're going to be doing on this piece right here. Can we, will we be able to go around the curve with it? Yeah. Just kind of twist it as yep. it's, as it's going. Right there. Cool. Yeah, I think that'll be, that'll be nice to put it up there and kind of. Yeah, tack I it just in. start at one side and tack it, and mm -hmm. then kind of hammer just it, hammer it along, and, and go down it. Yeah.
that definitely makes it a lot. Oh yeah. Stronger with that that bead in there. Cool. Especially how thin that is. Yeah. All right, so we're back at the shop from after last night. I got uh, got these pieces. I'll uh, get that little crease in them. So you can see, kind of put a little bit of a bend in them. But uh, once I get them in there and start tacking them, I'll uh, kind of hit them with a the hammer and kind of knock them down where I need them to be. All right, so we're kind of just holding the headliner up in here to uh, to see how much of this cobbled mess it's gonna cover up. So if you see right here, um, if you look over here, it's basically gonna cover all of that shit up. And then once the once that's in here, look at that, all covered up. Can't see no bullshit. So I think I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna just go go through with it. All right. So on this side, basically what's holding this uh, this piece on is there's like two clips right there. So you could see one will be I think like maybe right there, right there, and then maybe one up at the top. I think it's just that one and that one. Which, I mean, I don't think that'll be too big of an issue, because honestly, like, I'm gonna put, a, like, probably a gauge pod going up it, and I'll just run, like, a damn self-tapper through all of it, and just stick it on there. So I don't, it doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, it's not like I'm, like, trying to put this thing in, like, the, the fucking classic car restoration type of shit. It's just, it's a damn super, and it needs to be strong right here, and that's what I'm doing. So, wham bam. So I got this, uh... It's a 3M weld through primer. Has uh, it's basically like copper and zinc. Um, it's like a corrosion thing, so it's uh, so you could weld through it pretty much. And so all this stuff down here that I, I kind of wired welded it as much as uh, as I could get, it and then kind of hit it with a little Scotch Brite, and uh, kind of broke up this stuff. So I guess we'll do a little little test. So I guess this stuff's more so zinc than it is. And I kind of already went to bare metal where, where I'm, I have to. So I got, uh, well you can see, there were some of the places where it was cut on uh, in the, in the kind of the jam where they, when they were cutting it out, they cut through it and left basically a blank thing. See right here, the filler bubbled up. You can see right there, it did the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip this whole pillar basically up into here. Basically everything that I got pretty hot next to it and uh, just get rid of it. Just cause it's, it's basically all contaminated now. It, it, it all got shitty, so you could see right here, I uh, welded it down into there, kind of the really strong metal down in there, and then up here, along that, I just kind of tacked it and then kind of did some little kind of stitches. Um, welded these two pieces together right here, went up into there, this kind of bends down a little bit, and then that other piece fills in right here, and then that one fills in right there, so it's, it's looking damn good. I mean, it feels really good too. Like this whole thing is just really, really strong now. Whereas you used to be able to flex it and twist it and do all kinds of shit. It's it's really really strong. I can't wait to feel how it is when I get to uh, get it all on there. So, uh, getting pretty damn close to, well, to being almost done with this guy. So I got that pretty, that guy pretty much all the way tacked in, and I think that's about what I'm gonna, I mean, it, it's super, super solid. Um, I mean, you can hear it kind of like tings over there, like thunks over here, like thuds over here. So I almost feel like this side is stronger than that side. Well, maybe, I don't know. Um, but it, it's damn close. 
So you can see I kind of filled in that little guy right there. Um, right, I need to make a little patch for back there. But right now, so what I kind of did is I put this little piece, because there's a lot of strength in this guy right here. And you can see like two layers of metal. So I kind of tied it in a little bit right there, uh, up into here and all that stuff across the, the top. But uh, I'm basically just going to do kind of that right here. All right, so I've been uh, messing around a little bit. My damn phone's on the, on the chargers. I haven't been, been able to time lapse. So you can see right here, I kind of made this little piece. And that basically goes up underneath there and extends kind of out here, goes right there, kind of along that same line. So it, it won't interfere with anything. Um, initially I had it kind of going over this, and then I realized that's where the, the damn uh, visor mounts. So yeah, that'll tie in all this stuff, because there, there's definitely you know a lot that goes right here into that strength piece. Back here, I cut out a bunch of these little pieces, and uh, just kind of, I didn't even know, I didn't even know like what the hell I was going to do about that. But, uh, but check this out. So I made this little guy that kind of slides in there behind that and then goes, goes right there. And so it's pretty close. There's a little gap right here, but I'll, I'll be able to fill that with the, with the welder. That won't be no, no big thing. Um, but yeah, and like I said, that, that kind of goes along that same line, kind of goes up into the curve right there. Once I get an attack on it or so, I can kind of bang it out a little bit. I might actually stick the, the pliers in here and pull that out a little bit so I'm not trying to fill in any of that stuff. But that looks, uh, I don't know, that looks damn good to me. I, uh, I mean, I really, I really didn't know, damn, this thing's like dusty. Um, so I didn't know like how the hell I was going to attempt this whole situation and I mean I've been just kind of holding off on it and trying to decide if I'm gonna actually get uh, like a whole parts car or try to order this piece from Toyota which is probably out of stock and then like tear this whole like piece out um, but I, I kind of feel like I did the kind of easiest bang for your buck uh, thing I mean it, it was it was time consuming as far as trying to get everything uh, you know lining up right and kind of making the deals but it, it wasn't too bad um, I'm definitely glad that it, it's it's in there now. I, I don't regret it at all. I think uh, once it's all all said and done, it'll uh, be really strong. And you know, when the, the plastic covers over it, nobody will ever be able to tell the difference. So, all right. So uh, I guess it's done. I uh, got the complete completed on the inside. You can see. Not necessarily like the, the prettiest looking welds in the world, but uh, but I think they're gonna they're gonna hold up just fine. Um, so yeah, I, like I said, I, I tied in this one right here and kind of hammered it a little bit. There's a little spot when because uh, basically I was just making all this kind of stuff by guesstimate. I was kind of sticking it up there, kind of drawing a line coming down, making it a little big, and then kind of cutting and bending and and doing all that stuff. Really like the way this back turned out right there. Uh, I was really confused about what I was going to do just because how mangled it was and so I just kind of just started cutting out and pulling out all the the mangled shit and kind of got a little shape in my head and tried to follow the the factory kind of line with it and, uh, and I think I did that so yeah it uh, it looks pretty good to me or I mean you won't be able to say, see any of it because it, it will all be covered up because this will basically go right there just like that the headliner comes down over here plastic covers right there literally you won't be able to see anything um, at the very most if you peek in there you might be able to see like a little little corner of the thing but yeah I need to kind of grind these uh, these guys smooth right here on the edge and uh, but other than that shit I, I think it's it's pretty good when I go to uh, primer the engine bay uh, with the epoxy primer I'll come in here and I'll, I'll grind all this stuff down real smooth and uh, I might end up putting a couple beads kind of going down it. But I, I got to get home and, and going and, and editing a video. So yeah, it's like 4 something in the morning and, uh, and I'm getting ready to go home. That's where I'm leaving it for the night. It uh, feels 100 times better on the old A pillar. Used to, or When I first got this thing, you, should, you would be able to come over here and squeeze this pillar. And the whole thing would flex and move. And I mean, you could twist it if you wanted to. And... Uh, but I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. It uh, feels really, really strong. 
I uh, I didn't weld like full beads on it because I didn't want to get like too much heat on it over there. But you can see I, I welded that little thing and then just kind of did some tacks all the way up. And I wasn't like trying to space them out evenly or anything. I was just kind of doing it. But I like the way that, that thing over there turned out. Kind of follows the line pretty well. And then right here I tied it up into the the top as well. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I uh, I'm glad I got it done. This that was definitely one of the the more stressful parts besides like actually finding an interior uh, I, that I knew this this build was gonna gonna include was was having to figure out that when I when I first like heard about the Supra and then he told me it was cut out. You know, I kind of got up there and then I had something else in my head and I got there and I'm like, holy shit! Like I. Uh, I initially thought it was only cut out from like like right here down. And I was like, oh, that ain't no big deal. But then, then it turned out that whole, you know, upper piece was cut out, and I was just like, holy shit, how am I gonna do that? But uh, yeah, I just pretty much started doing it. Did the the cardboard cardboard templates. It worked out pretty good, and uh, and yeah. Oh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, like I said, ne next next video you see will sh should be me doing the engine bay of the Supra, and uh, and yeah, be sure to uh, stick around, you Super lingers. It's okay to subscribe, and I'm gonna go home and edit a video.